Look at these holes. These are craters formed by water dripping through the ceiling. Those aren't even very big. I've seen them much bigger than that in other caves. Okay, now look how pristine the floor is. So either it's harder, less people have been walking on it, or, well, people have walked on it just not recently. Look how broken the ceiling here is. It's like weird. See how there's a hill there where the water is. I mean, so it's been, uh, what's it called? The dust has been dripping through the ceiling there and adding up a little pile there. Huh, here's a cool little prominence from the ceiling. A couple of them. Like I said, this, the caves at the very ends, upper end, lower end, they get very complicated because that's where it was just barely formed, barely hanging on. Whoa, there's a cool little crevasse. Look at the mud, or whatever you call this junk, dried mud. Okay, well, we found the end of the cave. Oh, there's a cave register? Oh, it'd be funny if there was a map, because it's just a straight line. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here, so I can sign my name to the register, and hopefully it'll tell me where the heck I am. And then, um, oh wow, got some vandalism back here. So here's the funny part. You can tell by the ceiling is made of rock, right? But the floor is mud. This mud could darn well be 20 feet thick. If you were to dig out the mud, for all we know, this cave goes 200 miles. So even though this is obviously the end of the cave, if we didn't have this zero trace ethic, yeah, who knows how much farther it goes. All right, time for my break.